An important step in meditating is gladdening your mind. And one of the ways of gladdening the mind so that the mind is willing to settle down is just think of the good you've done in terms of your generosity and your virtue, the goodwill you have for all beings. This is something to be proud of. The world spends all of its time giving awards to people for this, that, and the other thing. It's very rarely an award for goodness, but it is its own reward. You think of the good you've done, it lifts your heart. You realize you're born into this world, you've contributed something good to this world. So that when you have to go, you leave something good behind. At the same time, leaving good things behind means that you have good things to take with you. That's one of the nice paradoxes. It's not the case that you leave good things behind and you wouldn't have anything to take. It's in the act of doing good things for the world that you build good qualities in the mind. You build kindness, you build goodwill, you build patience and equanimity because you realize the world is a difficult place, but you're not going to let the difficulties set you back. You hold on to what you know is good, so you're enduring. And it's for the things that you can't control, you have some equanimity, so you can focus on the good things you can do. When you have that attitude, as the Buddha says, you leave this world brightly. There are four kinds of people. He said, those who come in darkness, go in darkness. Those who come in light, go in light. Those who come in dark and go in lightness, and those who come in lightness go dark. To come dark means that you come in, into the world with a lot of difficulties. Don't get much of an opportunity to get education, not, not much of an opportunity to establish yourself well financially. You go dark it means that you don't observe the precepts. You don't be generous. To come light means that you have these opportunities, and to go light means you do observe the precepts, you do practice the Dharma. And as you said, it doesn't really matter how you come, what matters is how you go. And how you go is basically based on how you live this life, each day, each year. And when you look back on the goodness you've done, that lifts you further so you have more energy to do even more good. Because the energy of the body may fail, but the energy of the mind doesn't have to fail. In the John Mahabhu's image, you squeeze whatever goodness you can out of this body while you've got it, before you have to throw it away. And the goodness goes with you, even as you leave a lot of goodness behind. So that's something to be proud of, something to think about when the mind gets down, that you do have a lot of goodness. And then let that be the force that energizes you to do as much as you can.